With love in the air, guys, we're gonna play Love Distance. So, uh, let's continue these little visual novels and, uh, see what occurs. Love Distance. Your name is Stan. As a kid, you lived in a small town where your father owned the only electrical repair shop. Back then, large TVs weren't very common in your town. Children who didn't have a big TV at home liked to gather at your house and watch cartoons on your dad's TV. <laughs> One day, a new girl arrived. You could tell by her clothes that she was from the city. While everyone was happily watching TV, she sat alone next to the radio, listening to music. Later, you learned it was called classical music. She looked so pitiful, all alone. <laughs> I turned my head. Oh. What else can I interact with? Hey, why don't you come over and watch cartoons with us? No, I prefer listening to this. Her eyes never left the radio. What a weirdo. Just watch cartoons and leave her alone. Yeah, I'm going to her. What are we doing? Good restaurant. The TV, we own the TV, so who cares? <coughs> I'm Stan. Good restaurant. What's your name? Good, good. There's nothing else to click on, right? This game has uh, showed me. Grace. Uh, My name is Grace. Later, you found out Grace's parents were teachers who had only just arrived in town. A few days earlier, they had moved into the house next to yours. It didn't take long for you and Grace to become good friends. You went to the same primary school. You walked to and from school together every day. There was a roasted sausage shop. Look at that piano. It's so different from the rest of the stuff. There was a roasted sausage shop near the school, which was very popular with the students. You walked past this store every day, but Grace never seemed interested in the roasted sausages. She not hungry, that's why. No, she's a fan of music. Here's your sausage. She doesn't want a sausage. She wants music. Music. Stop here, stop here. Why you keep walking, dude? It's getting late. I'm going home. No, we're going to check this. No haggling. What are we doing? No! Oh? <laughs> I'm so confused. What's going on? Get away. Stop. I don't want to buy the freaking sausage. No haggling. What's haggling? Do I have to like stop him before he buys it? It's just an infinite loop. No! Stop it! This boy loves too much sausage, man. It's just an infinite loop. It's getting late. I'm going to head home. I'm not heading home. There's something here. Stop! Why did you know? 
Uh, piggy, 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 piggy. Hold on, hold on. Can I like move him and shove him? Like, get away from the sausage. What's wrong with my mouse? Why is my mouse moving? Stop. Stop moving. This, this, we're gonna, we're gonna go here. Stop with the... <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, he didn't buy sausage that day. There were so many chances. Oh my god. <sighs> See, the freaking kid, give me the freaking money. How dare you? Who's... Who freaking told you to buy sausage? Oh my god! Can we not buy the sausage? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Every time he's just walking by, I get another coin, but my mouse goes crazy. It's like it's trying to get the sausage. You're not gonna be on that side. You're gonna be on this side, boy. Mouse. I want that piano. Give me that piano. You better not buy a sausage again. I don't. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Look at this. It's like the mouse wants to go to sausage. Oh, my God. Sorry, Piggy. Thank you very much. This is for you. Thank you. Thanks. It wasn't long before her parents bought her a real piano. Almost every day, she'd go home immediately after school to practice. After that, you rarely hung out together, even at weekends. You could hear the sound of the piano coming from the courtyard next door. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. Uh. Oh, oh, it's drawing her. Look it. Yes! This is the game, huh? This is the game now, huh? Draw her. Draw her image. Fall in love. As you listened, you pictured her face getting all excited whenever it came to the piano. At that time, you didn't know how to describe the feelings in your heart. It was kind of like a mixture of jealousy and yearning. I'm jealous of that piano. I wish I were those keys. <laughs> I want to be probed by your fingers. <laughs> probe me, Grace. Probe me, Grace. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe because Grace found her passion, you also wanted to find yours. Yes, what's my passion? My passion is Grace. You started trying to fix small things after school. We have tons of junk, your dad said. Do whatever you like with it. All right. Over time, you developed an interest in playing with these machines and electrical things. Then I get electrocuted. <laughs> it felt especially good when you fixed something that was broken. In the last summer of elementary school, Grace suddenly called you and said her 
Metronome was broken. Okay. Metronome. Bo -bo -bo. Well, we'll be going to junior high school soon. We will, Grace. You want your metronome fix? Well, we have only one junior high school in town. No worries. Even if we're in different classes, we can still hang out sometimes. Unless she's going to a different school. Yeah. This is actual 3D object, huh? It seems like something is stuck. Go get a screwdriver. Okay. So I don't use these tools actually. Yeah. Oh, her face is so downcast. Actually, I want to go to the music school in the city. That's okay. You should go for it. I did it! It worked! Did I completely just ignore her? Oh, she's crying! You really like playing piano, don't you? I've never seen you playing your piano. Would you play it for me? Okay. <laughs> Let's play together. I'll teach you. Really? It's so adorable. It's a song I play quite often. Maybe you've already memorized the melody. You play this one key. I'll do the rest. Press the left mouse key at the right time. You go first. Click the left mouse button to start. It's okay. Let's take our time. You play this one at the right time. Okay. When am I supposed to do it? There's no indication. Did you forget the... It's okay. I'll play it again. Just listen. Remember, let's try again. You play and I'll do the rest. The one key. Oh my God, <laughs> let me press my button. Oh my God, this is gonna take forever. Right there. Oh, the outsides light up. I didn't notice that the outside of this lights up. Okay, if that's the case, let's see. Should have been some rules. Oh my god. I forgot. One. One. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> this is going to be hard. Oh my God, please. <gasps> Did she just kiss me? At the last note faded, she softly kissed your face. Whoa. Was that blinking the whole time? Because I tried seeing it and I didn't see it. <clears throat> you didn't have time to react. Neither to her sudden move, nor the separation you were about to face. You're breaking my heart, Grace. You used to take it for granted that you and Grace would always go to the same school and always be together. Of course, those were childish beliefs. In fact, the city was not so far from your town. But for children, the distance was enough to separate you from Grace completely. When you started junior high school, you and Grace got your own mobile phones. They were the only way you managed to keep in touch with each other. I've got things to do. Have you heard about the novel called Triple Door? Everyone at school is reading it. I haven't heard it. The author is a hu is a high school student, just like us, a teenager. Nope, never heard of it. What do you think it will be like when we go to high school? I can't imagine. Is the only thing? When will you come back to the town? I'm not sure. Maybe next summer vacation. Have you heard Jay Chow's music? No. Is he good? He's great. His songs have their own style. They're quite unique. Oh, really? I'll give him a try. Yeah, try them and tell me which one you like best. Our deaths slowly changed Ew, two years later. Oh, I'm interested. School is so boring. Why does a future pianist like me have to learn physics? Yeah, why does a future engineer need to know the name of a king from a thousand years ago? Haha, <laughs> exactly. I want to click this. Will you come back to town this summer? I have to go to my hometown with my parents this summer. Sorry. Nothing else of worth to click on her side? So just the computer? My dad started a small electronics factory to help a new household appliance manufacturer in town produce circuit boards. I'm pretty sure she is so bored. So I am learning how to design circuits now. It's quite interesting. So you're going to be an engineer. That's cool. You've done not bad as well. At least you're a musician. Hey, what do you mean by at least? <laughs> uh, I can't, I can't leave this. There's gotta be more. Hey. You got the game Snake on your cell phone? Yeah, sure. What's your best score? Around 2,000. How about you? About the same. A guy here said he got 20,000 points. Nah, I don't believe him. Oh. Hey. 
Have you heard the radio show Love Q? Nope. It's really funny. You should give it a try. I'm sure it'll make you laugh. They gotta be in high school by now. Is that funny? Yeah. It's hilarious. Okay then. I'll give it a shot. This one is not as well done. What? Huh? Read it upside down. Ha! That was dumb. Then why are you laughing? I'm laughing at you, dummy. What's this? Han Han's new book, right? In Chang Chang Gang City is out now. Do you read it? No, not yet. No. Um. My dad is planning to move the electronics company to the city. That's great. By the way, how long has it been since we last saw each other? I don't know. My dad bought me a new computer a few days ago for playing Warcraft 3, I bet. All the boys in my class are playing it. Wow, I didn't think you'd have heard of Warcraft, but no, my dad asked me to try coding the microcontroller. You mean like a programmer? So you could make a game for me, right? Not really. I'm not that kind of programmer. So what kind of programmer are you? Uh... <laughs> 06. Oh, her music. I haven't been in a very good state recently. I don't feel like I'm making any progress when I'm practicing. Oh. So, you want to give up? No way. You know I'll never give up. Exactly. I know that as well as you do. Just keep on trying. You'll be fine. Aw. Yeah, I think you're right. There's like nothing on my side. That... What have you been reading recently? I'm reading a book about Toefl. What is Toefl? It's an English test. Serious? Serious? In the summer of your second year of high school, your family decided to move the factory office to the city. Of course, you were moving to the city with them. Five years have passed. But the distance between you and Grace was finally getting smaller. It takes three hours to drive from the town to the city. It's not exactly a huge distance. But still, you hadn't seen each other for five years. What had stopped you from meeting up? When you thought about it, you weren't sure what kind of relationship you had with Grace. You guys have a good relationship. You guys are always talking to each other. Come on. Don't, don't, don't be negative. Are we friends? Probably not. It's been a long time. Are there any, I guess so. Do you miss me too? She, how's the new school? It's been a long time. Does... Do I like her? I guess so. Oh! What the... Stan, wake up. We're nearly there. That was so odd. That was so weird. Your father's voice interrupted your daydream. It's night right now. You hadn't noticed, but there were now a lot more buildings outside the window. Okay. There's gotta be something I could do here. Dad? <gasps> Wait! 
we're really close. She could see that from her window. You had arrived in the city where Grace lived. You wondered if you should ask her out right there and then. By senior year, you thought you should probably leave her alone. There was a famous amusement park in the city. You thought a date at the amusement park might be a good idea. It only took a few days to realize that the city was ridiculously huge. It took three hours to drive from your town to the city. But it took nearly two hours from your new house to where Grace lived. What? That's insane. In the last few days of summer vacation, you finally went to the amusement park. On the phone or by text, you always had lots to discuss. But in person, you could never find anything to say. Oh my goodness. It was awkward and embarrassing. You walked side by side, keeping a distance like someone standing between you. Where are we? You last met Grace five years ago. You didn't know how to handle your relationship with her. Maybe she was just as confused. While your brain was occupied by this mess, the sun had slowly set. Both of you had to go home soon. Ferris wheel before going home? Okay. Oh my god. You look so different. What are we doing? Actually, I didn't tell you this, but I'm going to leave soon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Seriously? Oh. I'm going abroad to study music. You're leaving me again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be leaving in a few days In the small cabin Her voice was so clear Go for it I know No uh. There's No There's gotta be something else There's gotta be something else I ain't clicking that I ain't clicking that. Bro, say something. Stop being silent. Why can't I click on anything? Oh, geez. Sorry. Bro. Oh, you knew it was her, her dream, so it was impossible to say I won't let you go to her. But you did slowly put your hand on hers. She didn't pull away. Like that, you spent those final moments in silence. I should have spoke, right? A few days later, Grace boarded a flight to another country. Ooh, sounds I think I did terribly just as before you kept in touch with grace over the internet and by phone but now not only distance stood between you but time as well busy yeah there's another school concert coming up. Take it easy. Just act like you did it when you played piano with me. You'll be fine. Yeah. Hang on. It's been like 10 years since I played piano with you. Don't you think I've made any progress since then? <laughs> so you recognize that you've been practicing and making progress, right? Just show them the results of all the e that effort and everything will be fine. Smarty pants. Thanks. I feel better now. I still got this thing. 
is your major in microelectronics fun? My course is called Digital Electronic Technology Foundation. Does that sound fun to you? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Digital is probably the opposite of fun to me. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I wouldn't call it fun either. But I recently thought that if I could develop my own MCU in the future, that would be pretty cool. I don't really know what that means, but you should totally go for it. <laughs> yeah, I will. Oh, whatever. I found some people here who listen to Love Q. I've joined a fan club here. There are loads of people in it. Yeah, they've got fans all over the world. It would be great if you could join us. <laughs> Silence. Oh. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. Oh. Oh. What's up with the silence? Still listening to Love Q? Yeah, but I still feel weird about it becoming an internet only radio show. It's not really real difference to me. I can't listen to it on the radio here anyway. Let's listen to the next episode together. Together? How? We can just download it and press play at the same time. Haha. <laughs> you little genius. That's the only way. Hanhan Han is on the cover of Time Magazine. Hanhan Han is, uh, who was that? The, the kid who wrote a book? Best-selling author, double champion of the car field and rally races. He's so cool. Yeah, that is cool. I read all his books after you told me about Triple Door. Actually, I haven't read any of Han Han's books since that one. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Leave it <in> awkward. <laughs> Has the debt crisis had any effect on you? Not really. I thought you weren't bothered by about financial events. Not really, but everybody's talking about it here. It'll happen when it happens. There's nothing we can do about it. Right now, my biggest worry is my grades. Your postgraduate exam? Yeah, I need a better grade for an opportunity to do more research about microchips. Cheer up, engineer guy. You can do it. Thanks. I don't want to click the time again, uh, but it's kind of seeming like I have to. I'm just m crazy clicking. All right, time, time. It's almost 9 a.m. where you are. Don't you have piano practice today? Today is Thanksgiving. It's a holiday. Oh, I see. Hmm. It's getting late where you are. You should go to sleep. Good night. Uh. Eh. Why are you forcing me to sleep? <gasps> oh my god! Morning! Going to meet the professor today. Yeah, I hope I can leave a good impression because I'll have to work with him for three years. Good luck. Thanks. I want to click that! Love Q is back on the radio again. It's been two years. It's so cool to have it back on the radio again. Fans forever. Fans forever. It looks like the typhoon over there is really fierce. Are you okay? I'm sure I'll be fine if I stay at home. Just don't go outside. Haha. <laughs> You sound exactly like my mom. Hey, I'm serious here. Don't be mad. I'm not mad. Nothing else to click? What's this? Oh, there's a public concert. I've got a solo piece. Oh, nice. Amazing. Don't worry. You can handle it. You're the top of your school, right? Stay confident. Get through this 
and you'll be a real pianist. You're right. I'm almost there. Yeah, almost there. Almost there. That's great. Under the influence of time and distance, your lives were growing further and further apart. Oh, why you got to make it depressing? Four years have passed and you and Grace were both about to graduate. For a long time, there had been an issue between you and Grace, though neither of you had mentioned it. Some problems were just never brought up because there was no solution. But that call was different. I want to stay here after I've graduated and joined the orchestra. I might not be coming back. <clears throat> the music you taught me before. I can play it by myself now. I wanted to surprise you when you came back. Is that not gonna happen? Hmm. We're not letting go of this. I'm doing everything possible. <clears throat> Get off the bed. I'm not letting go of her. I still got the piano toy I gave you when you were we were kids. You don't need it anymore, right? Huh? What's on her side? I know we don't see each other often. Ten years. It's been you and me together for ten years, and this is the end? Are you still listening to the radio show? Love Q? We said we'd be fans forever, remember? Oh my gosh. Your family is here. Don't you miss them? Maybe there's something about foreign countries you really love? But your roots are here. The amusement park is going to be demolished next year. They're going to build a mansion. Will I get a chance to ride that Ferris wheel with you one more time? You want to, to give up on us like that? This? No, please come back. I need you here with me. I really want to stay here and keep working towards my dream. But I miss you a lot. And I do want to come home. I don't think I can do it. I'll come home after graduation. Did I persuade her? Is this a good thing? <clears throat> a few months later, Grace kept her promise and came back. You started working in your father's factory. I'm an engineer. I could have worked anywhere. I should have went to her. You haven't forgotten your dream of making your own chips, but it's not an easy goal to achieve. 
Grace became a piano teacher at a music school and everything is going well. That must be depressing for her. I don't think I don't think it's going well. But you never see that excited glow in her eyes that she used to get when talking about playing the piano. I destroyed her dream. You try so hard to fix things. But these situations aren't like machines. Some things just can't be repaired. Wow, what a depressing and sad ending. So close, so far. Oh my goodness, what a depressing ending. <clears throat> this scene was ridiculous. There's more. There's more. All right, guys. We got one of three endings here. Let's try again. Oh. Is that how it is? Wait. Love. The other one didn't have that choice. The other one didn't have that choice, but this one does. Meet, recall, farewell, anticipate, time, way back, token, repair, blah, 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 blah. I got to let her follow her dream this time, so... Four years pass. Graduation time. I will let you go. This is different. Wow, I still love you. Please don't go. I'll let you go. She's so happy. But... But I'll miss you. Maybe you'll... Miss me too? But... If we force ourselves to be together now... That will eventually become the reason we hate each other. So, let's work towards our dreams. Oh my gosh. Where are you going, mouse? My mouse is going crazy. My mouse is even going off screen onto the other screen I have. This is crazy. I don't want to break up. We couldn't. Were we even together? Jeez, mouse. Uh, let's break up. Let's break up. Let's break up. Oh, we're both sad. Maybe. One day we'll be together again. Maybe not. I hope we won't regret this decision. I hope we can say goodbye with a smile. I hope we can meet again with a smile. I still love you. We're both smiling. I do. Thank you for understanding, for making this hard decision for me. Thank you. That night, you cried and you smiled. You talked a lot about each other's futures and dreams, about all your hopes and hard work. You and Grace said goodbye to each other and said goodbye to your youth. Wow. After that, 
You and Grace worked hard to achieve your dreams. And over time, your dreams came true, one by one. Oh! Grace became a pianist just like she always wanted. Her performances touched hearts and bright, brought joy to countless people. You joined a university laboratory and started working with companies to develop, de wow, develop electronic chips. The main task of the laboratory is the mass production and market application of your country's self-developed chips. Jeez, that was a mouthful. You and Grace are still a world apart. But you still listen to the same radio show in different time zones. Sometimes you like each other's tweets. You and Grace haven't seen each other for a long time. But you think that when you meet again, there will be a smile on both your faces. Wow, that, that, that decision. Uh, so far, so close. I got chills right now. Oh, what am I missing here? That one was so close so far, right? I'm missing three of them. Like, there's nothing you can do about these. It's like I was pushing him out of the way slightly. What if I pick this? By senior year, you thought you should probably leave her alone. We don't go on a date, right? When you were in senior year three, senior year three, you tried to contact Grace several times, but you got no response. You heard that Grace had gone to study abroad. And after that, you lost contact with Grace. Oh man, we didn't keep in touch. Whoa, today you dreamt of a girl, a girl who was very close to you. Yeah, I picked the senior year option. You don't know why, but you always thought this girl was very special. Sometimes you wonder if you two were still together, how would the story end? Sometimes you think maybe it only seems beautiful because of the distance and the time that has passed. That in fact, perhaps she wasn't special. As time passes, you think of her less and less. Wow, cleaning out, cleaning out shop. Maybe you're only reflecting on these irrelevant things because you stumbled across that toy piano while tidying up. It's time to sleep. You have a big day tomorrow. This is crazy. Love, distance, far memory. Did I get all of the scenes? I just got all of them. I completed it, guys. That... That was interesting. That last option was very interesting. So maybe this this part, that's all three endings. So I don't think that you can see the rest of the room here. I was going to try, but apparently not. That's a nice background. You guys like any of these backgrounds? If you do, like for your computer or something, let me know. I could... Uh, Hop onto my Discord and I could like send you some of these pics because apparently I could save it to my get to a folder or something. So I could get the background pictures for myself. So 
So yeah, look look at all these. That that one. Of course you could screenshot it, but you're gonna have that on the bottom. But if you like any of them, let me know. I really like that one. That one's cool. Or the radio. The radio looks hot. Um. So with that said, we completed Love Distance. The last one we have to do is Love Detective, which looks like it only has two endings. But we'll leave that for next time. So thank you so much, guys, for having joined me so far in uh, the game Love Choice, where so far we played Love Game and Love Distance. Join me again next time when we play Love Detective. These stories are interesting, so... so Feel free to comment and say, uh, tell me which story you liked better so far and what you liked about each story and what you didn't like about each story. So no matter what your time zone may be, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. Bye-bye.